peeps, we are live with another edition of Breaking Into Cybersecurity. I am Renee Small, cybersecurity super recruiter, helping awesome people hire leaders, hire great talent. And I am here with the infamous Sky Kennedy. Say hi to everybody, Sky. Hi, everyone. <laughs> And we are in, we're, I'm working from anywhere. Today is a get ready for back to school day. So I'm in the salon, having my daughter get her hair done and I couldn't make it back in time. So here I am doing the live with Sky. <laughs> love it, love it. Gosh, Sky. So Sky, tell us, I know last week you had a fantastic time with everyone um, talking about video resumes and I'm so sad that I missed that. I was running from somewhere last week, didn't get to see it. So talk to us this week about, again, refresh us with what, what you were doing. And I wonder if some people have, have has anyone shared their uh, video resumes yet? I, I don't know. Uh, that's a question for Chris. Okay. Um, I, I did just as a FYI, I did let Chris know if anybody does need help, I'm here to help. I'm not going to, you know, charge anybody for information or answers or resources. So if anybody needs help putting that together or finding out things on how to do it, uh, just let me know. Um, Scott, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, last week we were pretty much focusing on uh, how folks can use resources uh, not only to get in front of people, but to leave a lasting impression. And, you know, obviously, because I work with video all day long, uh, video is, in my opinion, a, a, a golden opportunity for folks, uh, you know, not only who are looking to get into the industry, but also folks who are in the industry themselves and want to move to another job. Yes, absolutely. So we have some comments here um, already. Carrie is in here. Uh, and she says that she's studying the, for the CompTIA A plus hardware tests and software. She knows not a lot of cybersecurity, but it's what she can do right now, which is great. That's a great place to start. Um, and going through a lot of the, uh, a lot of the classes and, um, she says hello to us both. Hey, Carrie again. And that it's cool. We have technology to do be live in the salon. Yes. And I'm going to run and get rid of Bluey that my daughter was watching behind me. It's still running. <laughs> the background <laughs> while sky sky so give us more tips what else do you recommend carrie did you oh carrie's a man i'm sorry <laughs> sorry carrie so what so your... so so some of the things you know kind of the uh the details so if you're going to do a video resume there's a couple of ways to do it um there are a variety of resources online uh, I spoke, you know, just briefly about BombBomb, Bomb, which is B-O-M-B, B-O-M-B dot com. You can go to their site and for two weeks you can get their information and, and do a video resume for free. But, um, you know, because I'm working in and around video all day long, I like to add things. And some of the things that you can do, for instance, if you're going to use your uh, camera on your smartphone is you can set up so the screen becomes an element unto itself. It isn't just a video. I, like right now, I'm in a video, I'm using a background, and I'm sitting in the middle of the screen. One of the things that, that I know I like to see is I like to see the screen in a video broken up into two parts. I have, I'm moving the wrong way. Um, I have the action, me, on one side of the screen, and then the other side of the screen is empty. And in that empty part of the screen, you can put information. For instance, information from your resume or information about what you like or what you dislike. And the nice thing about video is you can use some effects 
like sliding things onto the screen and sliding things off of the screen or where things dissolve in and then you can read them for a minute and dissolve out. Actually, I shouldn't say that. You can read them for a few seconds and then they, they dissolve out and you can put more information on there or you can put pictures on there. You can lose yourself altogether and do some editing where you have some pictures. You might want to show a picture of you sitting in front of a monitor working on the type of things that you're working on. Um, the, the, the opportunities to create a video resume on your own are really unlimited. And the other thing that's really cool, I think, is that there are so many video apps. I have a, a PDF I can send to you, so you've got it. But there are so many video apps on, uh, I'll answer that in, in one second, uh, Vidyard. Um, there are so many apps, either in the App Store or Google Play, that are video editing apps. I use uh, Adobe Premiere Rush, which is a which because I work in the Adobe Creative Suite in my uh, desktop. Um, I love it because I can sit there either on my smartphone, you can't see it right now, my smartphone, or on my iPad. Yes, I'm an Apple person, um, and edit just anything you want. And, and that way, you're breaking up the, the information in your video resume that has really interesting things in it. And it doesn't take that long to learn it. Um, it doesn't take that long to actually do it. You know, it, it, we were talking last week about camera shyness. And yes, and, and there's a whole uh, story I'd like to get into about camera shyness, but we'll save that for another time. But um, regarding the video resume, for somebody like me who works in video all day long, I like to see things broken up. So a part of the video, like say we're going to do a one minute video resume, we can break it up so we have things broken up into 20 second clumps. The first 20 seconds is whatever you want to say about yourself. It's an introduction. Hi, how are you? I'm Sky Kennedy. I'm looking for a job in cybersecurity. I am this, that, and the other thing. And then the next 20 second clump is information on the side here where you're talking about your experience and the things that you're involved with. If you've done any internship, if you've done any, um, you know, going out to various clients and, and uh, doing, you know, any kind of uh, work, either in, you know, networking or endpoint work, uh, working with clients. Maybe uh, you have some resume or not resume, you have some video already that you've taken working at a client site where you can uh, edit those into that next 20 seconds. And then the last 20 seconds of the one minute is all about what you're looking for. I'm looking to get a job as a cloud analyst. And I and, and here are the solutions that I can bring to you. And then at the end of that, say thank you very much. And, and that's the end of the, uh, uh, the end of the video resume. So you have 20 seconds that are uh, dedicated to an introduction, then 20 seconds in kind of a resume-ish information. So information is coming out to one side of you as copy, you know, name, rank, serial number, the things I'm involved with, experience, things that you, you've been involved with. And then the last 20 seconds is all about um, the things that you have done the things that you're looking for, the things that, that you are really excited about, and how you can solve this particular company's problems or issues, uh, and then sign off. Thank you very much. Bye. So now, as far as Vidyard is concerned, 
Yes, Vidyard is a great resource. One of the things about um, the various resources out there, you have to, you know, you have to do just a tiny bit of research, find out what it's what it's about, and then do some testing. You know, don't just make a resume and say, oh my God, this isn't that good. When you have time, like for instance in BombBomb, um, you can spend two weeks testing and retesting and redoing and uh, looking at the things you've done. I'm not that familiar with Vidyard, although I do know that they will allow you to do resumes. So test, retest, uh, get it down to you know a finite detail so it looks really good to you, and then share it with your friends. Let them give you feedback so you know, hey, I've got a really good tool here that I can now send out into the industry. That's fantastic, Sky. Um, quick question for you in regards to the 2020. So, so it's a two minute video or was it a one minute video? So the one thing in video that you really have to be concerned about is time. Nobody has time. You want to make a video, especially a resume or like the videos that I work within, they're called snackable, like a snack video. Snackable video is anywhere between 30 seconds to 90 seconds. And when I'm getting up into the 90 second range, I'm really very concerned about keeping the attention of the audience or the person that I'm sending the video to, which to me is really critical because when you're dealing with C-suite folks like CISOs, um, techn chief technology officers, information officers, uh, you know, CEOs, they don't have time. You know, you may have a great 90 second video, but they don't have time for that. So keep in mind your audience. Your audience has no time. So this brings us back to the whole time. How much time do I have to make a video? My opinion is you have about 60 seconds. And so you can look at a, a video resume as, okay, I have 60 seconds to put my information out there and that's all that I have. So in that 60 seconds, you can break it down into three 20 second segments. And like I was saying before, the three, exactly, similar to the elevator pitch, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, you have about 20 seconds to introduce yourself then you have 20 seconds to pretty much um, give your elevator spitch, spit, I'm going to say it, pitch, or you, and then you have 20 seconds to let them know how you can solve their problem. Right. So you have 60 seconds and it's not, you, you think it's not a lot of time, but in video, it's a ton right. of time. And that way, you can always keep in mind the solution of the hiring manager or the recruiter or typically like a, a chief information security officer. They don't have time, but they're tasked a lot with being the hiring person. And so you can say, um, OK, I'm going to be really respectful of whoever is looking at this with their time. And that, to me, that's really important. So yeah. about 60 seconds. If you can do it in less time than that, that's great. Even better. That's awesome. A 60 second or less video resume, elevator pitch, intro, elevator pitch, and how you can solve the problem and you're done. And to me, that's like a no brainer to get an interview. If the person if the person, um, if the leader takes the time to actually watch it, yes. that is so fast. To me, that's like a no brainer with an interview. Um, yes. Professor Roger White is here. Hey, Professor Roger, Roger White. He, he says, Hi, Professor. so 20 minute intro, 20 minute elevator uh, pitch and 20 minute solution. Exactly. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Spot on. Spot on. And I know Paul Cummings is here from Whole Humans, Whole Cyber Human Initiative. Thanks for coming through, Paul. Tanya's here. Hey, Tanya. Good afternoon. Um, someone said they were having network issues. 
So uh, maybe she, maybe they can catch the video later. And I hope it wasn't us because I, like I said, I'm in not in my typical location. So hopefully the, the technology isn't on our side. Um, but I wanted to make sure I was here with Sky since I missed her last week. Um, and I am get so grateful all. you guys are having me two weeks in a row. This is fantastic. Oh my God, Thank we you. want you on every week. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to have you all the time. Because this is so informative and so helpful. I'm even learning because, again, as we continue to grow when it comes to these lives, video as a whole, um, just making sure that we are keeping things fresh, you know, like even to your point, the longer the longer um, time span or the longer uh, YouTubes or live streams, sometimes people fall off. I mean, it's great when there's engagement. But 30 minutes is even, you know, shorten that down and get some more bang in um, during yes. the time frame. So understanding yes. our all of our short time spans, you know, like, you know, the juggling that we're doing, everything that we have yes. going on and being able to get those little, like you said, snackable. I like that word, the snackable bite sized. Oh, I can yes. do this really quickly. And yes. CISOs in particular and security leaders and technology leaders nobody has time so it's great and i love that this video resume will stand out from the crowd now yes. guy yes. a couple questions in regards to now we know that our people are very skeptical when they either get text mess um you know links or attachments inside of yes. emails so what's the recommendation for sharing so you do it, what do you do post it up on your linkedin and have people link to it like how does that how would you what would you recommend so, so that's a very good question because security is everything, right? Right. And how can you send uh, a, something to a person like a CISO or chief technology officer or um, chief information officer and not have them think, oh my God, what have I got here? Right. Um, and, and that's a really difficult one. The, the, you know, the in is people looking for you people looking for someone to fill a position and so it's your goal to find out what is the best way to get that information to that person one good way is taking your resume and putting a photo in it of a frame of the resume and putting a link on it so it links to a YouTube station. So I'm not saying that, that, you know, that won't be skeptical, but there are alternatives out there that, you know, you can say, okay, please view my video resume. It's right here. And then they link to YouTube or, you know, you can have it in other platforms. You can have it in Instagram. You can have it on TikTok. The, the thing about, you know, Instagram and TikTok is you have to stay within a certain time frame, like 30 or 60 seconds. But um, there are platforms out there that you can put your video resume up on, link a photograph inside of your, uh, your email and or your, uh, your uh, PDF document that you're, you've made your resume into, and then send that to the recruiter. Thanks, Guy. That's such a great way to, um, or some good options to be able to yes. share the information. Um, yes. Yes. Because I think of that too. Like the emails that I send, sometimes when I'm sending cold emails, even um, even when I'm sending um, outreach, you know, to candidates and to hiring managers, I never, I, I don't put links because, yeah, you know, yeah. I know, I know, mean, I, I, I don't click on links. It is tricky. One of the things that you can do, it is the modern cover letter. It is, I agree. It absolutely is. One of the things that you can do, which I kind of make a pest of myself about, is you can find out, if possible, the hiring manager at the name of the company that you're looking for or companies that you, you, know, you would like to get into and find that hiring manager and go right to them on LinkedIn 
and say, I, you know, I would like to apply. I'm applying through the natural ways, you know, your website and uh, your uh, career section of your website or your job section of your website. And I would like to send you a video resume. What do you recommend? Now, I'm not saying that they're going to answer you, but maybe they will. You know, it's worth taking time to find out. And some people are really um, very interested in people who can solve solutions. So it's good to, you know, apply for a job. Hey, there's a job, you know, whether it's on LinkedIn or whether it's uh, in, in some of the career sites and you send your resume away and you keep your fingers crossed and you say, you know, I'm going to be 45, you know, in the stack of 4,500 resumes they get, or you can start solving problems before you even, you know, they even think about hiring somebody. Wow. You know, getting a, a, a message on LinkedIn from a potential candidate is solving an issue. You know, they want to know people. I'm not, again, I'm not saying that they will answer, but it is an opportunity for you to show your wares. And as we all are well aware, like all of us got connected through LinkedIn. Sky, you and I got connected through LinkedIn. Chris right. and I got That's connected right. through Professor Roger White and I got connected through LinkedIn. I mean, this is where it is. <laughs> so, 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 so two things works. to think to keep in mind, because we spoke about this yesterday. Um, one is what social media platforms are many, not all, but many of the cybersecurity folks involved with. In my opinion, there's only two. LinkedIn, LinkedIn which is the big and one, Twitter. and Twitter, which is another big one. <laughs> Right. But those are the two big platforms that many of the cybersecurity folks go to for information, to find information out, to look up people, blah, blah, blah. Right. Right. Absolutely. And Erica says, I like that idea. Hey, Erica, thanks for being here. Um, I do. I mean, what, what Professor Roger White said, maybe this is the modern cover letter. That's immediately what I thought of. I was like, oh, this yes. is the cover letter that everyone says. Oh, cover letters don't work. I can say one thing. Tip typically, when I was inside of a recruiting organization, like inside of an HR as a recruiter, recruiters don't really read res um, cover letters, but hiring managers absolutely read cover letters. And yeah. sending a video cover letter to a hiring manager, connecting with them, like you said, if you could do it on LinkedIn with a YouTube, that it's an it's. To me, it's like, oh, I want to see what this person has to say, or even your native video. So if you connect yes. with them on LinkedIn, then you don't have to put it on YouTube. You could just upload the native video, and there yes. you go. They press it, they watch it, and it's done. So yes, um, absolutely, I, I think this is a fantastic idea. So Sky, one, remind thing to, one thing to keep in mind is because everybody will say, well, this costs too much money. What we've been talking about is free. All of it. It's free. Yeah. So, so you know, if you want to go to an online resource like a Vidyard or, or a BombBomb, um, inevitably it will cost money. But there are ways around that. To put a video on YouTube doesn't cost anything. To download editing uh, applications from the uh, from uh, the App Store or Google Play doesn't cost anything. So. You know, all it takes is your time. And if you're looking for that great job, you know, put a little time into it. And even if you don't want to, I mean, I think Sky's, what Sky is talking about is phenomenal. However, if you are not as creative or don't want to go that far, how about a selfie? <laughs> like, you know, selfie video just sharing, doing the same thing without the resume, without the things, you know, the additional edits, but you can still selfie video, intro, solution. It's the same twin. What was it? Intro, elevator pitch, solution. And you could do that via Thank selfie you, video. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> Professor White, Roger White comes in handy. 20 second intro, 20 second elevator pitch, 20 second solution. So one, you know, one thing that you can do while you're sitting at the beach, um, uh, or in a salon, the <laughs> okay. Um, it is, or yes, or it's a salon. You can write things down like a card 
and put them next to you with some information on it. Um, a few jobs ago, I was I had a long conversation with one of the uh, recruiters they had there, and she showed me a resume that was done in crayon. It was all crayon. Wow. And the person was hired That's because creative. they really were looking for a creative person. Yeah. So um, I, you know, <laughs> I think the more creative you can be, right. and we were talking about this the other day, being a disruptor to the status quo, the more you're going to get looked at. Now, it may seem crazy. It may not seem professional. And it may not seem like, you know, this is the corporate way, but I am telling you, especially in cybersecurity, they are looking for people that can solve issues and being creative, you know, going outside of the status quo, being a disruptor is really what folks in cybersecurity are looking for. Right. Absolutely. And across the board. I mean, I'm going to share this information with, I have a friend just so many people who are looking for opportunities, if you are just coming at a different angle, you you just, what happens is people don't understand this guy. I'm, I'm so happy that you made this point. Um, it's so easy to see the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, and when and get something- bored. Don't forget the boredom. Talk, so you, you know, that's resume, something resume, that resume. You, more than anybody know the whole issue of if you've seen one typed up really creative resume you've seen a thousand and after you see one or two you want to throw that stack away you're done and how That's can i get a job if is, you're bored about looking at my resume it takes like five seconds when, when people say it takes seconds and especially now it, i mean before you had actually had a piece of paper that you like swipe through but now when it's online and you're like click 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 and you're just looking to see where does the person work what what have, what have they done? What You're are some of the keywords? Like, and you know this better keywords. than anybody. You know, uh, at the bigger companies, they have the resources that they don't even look at a resume. They put it in that software. It's looking for keywords. If that keyword is not in that resume, you're out of there. <laughs> you're done. You're done. Yeah. So, Sky, what are the next steps for? I know you'll be back. We don't know when yet, but you'll be back. What are what are some tips, the final words of wisdom that you can give these folks while we wrap this up? Have confidence in yourself. You are looking for a job. Have confidence. I came to work at a company by the name of Silence. God, I, I so miss them. They became Blackberry, and I won't get into that whole Michigas. But I had been working in the creative world my whole life and literally my whole life because my parents were in it. And uh, I was looking for a job, went to work at Silence. It was a one day job. Um, and it turned out to be four and a half years. It literally changed my life. I am so changed that my whole life is surrounded by cybersecurity and cybersecurity people can't say enough given a gigantic shout out to cybersecurity people. I love you. The, the thing that's, in, in my opinion, the thing that's, that, that's most important for people who are looking for work or looking to change jobs is that cybersecurity is, is really an industry that's very accepting. And although, you know, I'm a female in cybersecurity, so we can go into that side of the business. But the reality is, Cybersecurity is a great place to work. There's so many opportunities. There's so many jobs. And whether you have no information about it or a little bit of information, um, I, you know, I, I help uh, Chris and Renee uh, uh, make uh, snackable videos from their past issues of, or editions of breaking into cybersecurity. And one of the gals uh, was a librarian I mean, what does library science have to do with cybersecurity? She was a librarian, loved technology, saw that her ideals in life were, you know, totally in line with cybersecurity, and she got into cybersecurity. So it doesn't matter if you have 
you know, formal education insecurity. It doesn't matter if you have a college education or not. It doesn't matter if, you know, you have this fantastic thinking of cybersecurity and want to get in but ha don't have any confidence. Do it. Get involved with it. There is so <laughs> many opportunities out there. If, if a person like There's me so that understands nothing about cybersecurity can get involved with the business and be taught some fantastic, amazing lessons about the message, anybody can do it. Absolutely. 100%. So I don't have anything else to say after that, Sky. You said it all. You're 100% right. Um, folks, listen to Sky. That's all I'm going to say. She'll be back. And she's giving me, I'm learning. I learned. I what promise I say about I'm not coming Sky. back next week. No three, no three weeks in a row, okay. but I'm no always around. Weeks, but maybe, the, maybe, maybe in the next, <laughs> next go round. But amazing information. I learn a ton every time I'm, I'm here. I'm learning so much from Sky. I can't thank her enough for just being here, giving us this info, and then also like making our snackable videos and putting them out there um, and reviving a lot of the information that we've already had. And to your point, librarians, I mean, salespeople, I, there's, there's been such a plethora of people from a variety of backgrounds that have come into cybersecurity. And it's amazing. And when we go back in the ar archives, I was just saying to Chris the other day, I can't believe that we've been doing this for four years. It's beyond like anything I could have ever thought. Um, back in the archives, I was some of our very first people talk, talking about what backgrounds that they had prior to coming into security. And the vast yes. majority of folks in the very beginning, they didn't have any, I mean, that's how we got here. That's why we're breaking into yes. security. Yes. So Sky, yeah. thank you again, folks. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you with another edition of Breaking Into Cyber next Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern. See you later, everybody. Thank you so much, Renee. I am so grateful. And please let Chris know that I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. Oh, my God. We love it. We love it. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye now.